Hey everybody, it's Sunday, July 9th, 2023. We bought a canopy for the top of the bad boy mower. Now you can get a solid like fiberglass or I think man, I think it's fiberglass top. It's like 800 bucks from bad boy, kind of like what we have on the tractor. But they also sell another one that's a, a lighter weight top and we bought a tough top. Now you can get these things on Amazon, get a Walmart, tractor supply or whatever. But we're gonna go there and take a look at it real quick. So again, we got this tough top. It's model number LYJD314. Made in China to the US. Probably should have said for the US. That's the same thing as the tow batteries that we had to install in the kerosene heater. You guys saw that video. Anyways, putting this thing together, the reviews online said the instructions are horrible, which they're correct. The instructions are horrible. One of the things you got to do when you assemble this is put this middle channel in here. And what happens is every time I try to put anything else on, it pulls apart. So I just took a couple pieces of Gorilla Tape to hold the two together because I've already had to put this thing back on there, I think, three times, four times in the past hour. But right now, just trying to get these brackets put on there that make it more rigid and again there's no description of the parts in the instructions so it doesn't really tell you what part is what there are some pictures here that aren't too bad and you can figure it out but whoever wrote this and you know, me being a guy that kind of worked on service manuals things like that in the past um, it's pretty frustrating that's what you get when it's made in China so it probably took about you know, an hour and a half to put this thing together. A um, couple things that I wasn't really I don't know, crazy about. This molding that went on there, you had to beat that on with a rubber mallet. They didn't really tell you that. Um, but also just trying to slide on these side brackets. One of them was pinched here, so I had to spread it back out to get it on there. Um, this thing's obviously super flimsy, so they say that if you're driving with it you know take it off before you go down the road probably a good idea uh, but other than that it's a real pain in the rear end to put together but it's gonna give us a lot of shade and, and overall I think it's pretty good for the price I think it was 270 bucks where we got it from they have it in orange they have it in white um, they say the orange fades so we just went with white that maybe white will be a little cooler but Right now we only got five and a half hours on the Bad Boy Maverick HD. So looking forward to doing a review on it once we got a little more hours on it. But other than that, just been trying to organize this mess. Everybody's got one of those corners in your garage where you just put all your yard tools up. I'm sure everybody's got one. That drives me crazy. So I have to try to organize that and try to clean it up every now and then. But that that's just, uh one of my pet peeves in life is yard tools i just i can't stand them and where do you put them other than that um james came out earlier in the week by the way rudy's here in case you weren't aware um but james came out he signed off on the building so uh the building inspector james signed off everything's good he's happy with the handrails Happy landscaping, so finally we got um, the workshop or barn signed off and now it's time to start thinking about our next projects out here at Deer Run Farm. <laughs> 